Welcome to my presentation about the practice of project management. This presentation includes four main points. Introduction, my reflection as an inspiring project manager, factor of effective project management, and conclusion. Regarding to the introduction, this report in my reflection about the projects I participated during the academic year, there are two kinds of projects, global virtual team project and innovation project. The second part of the presentation is project management from my point of view as project manager. According to Kuraid and Jinger 2007, there are three dimensions of competence in the project management. Knowledge competence could be understood as the industry knowledge. Performance competence could be referred as the method used to deploy the project successfully. And personal competence is considered as the project manager's behaviors. From that, the theoretical framework is created. By that way, the management process starts from initial thing to planning, executing, monitoring, and exit closing. Besides that, project managers are required to have a set of skills such as leading, managing, or communicating. And the knowledge such as industry knowledge could be fundamental. However, from experience gaining from the real projects, I think another factor, another important factor should be added in the project management is innovation. And here is the framework of the project management. The input of the project management should be included entrepreneurial mindset, which would trigger the innovative thinking during the process. As a result, the successful projects, innovation, or value creation could be totally expected. The third voice of the presentation is factors of effective project management, which are summarized and analyzed from the real project. Team formation is really important for every project and the members of the team should possess deep qualities, passions, diversity, and entrepreneurial mindset which could be understood as the innovative, active, or autonomous capabilities. In fact, in the real projects I participated, the group was created randomly. Therefore, for example, in KVS1 project, we were not successful because there are some members lacking entrepreneurial mindset. The second factor is effective communication. Actually, 20% of projects are unsuccessful because of effective communication. Communication is not only simply about speaking to or hear from the other members. It should be include, including the understanding the message from the others. Especially, getting experience from KVH1 project, communication is really important for global virtual team. And the third one is planning. Planning could help the project team meet the deadline, organize their tasks, and have the stakeholders to be aware of the progress of the team. And the final factor is project managers, who play the really important role in every project. They are the person who lead, manage the team, and control the project to make it on track. At the bottom line, from the real project, as well as the knowledge from about the project management, I recognize myself need to improve the two things, communication and flexibility to make myself more well-rounded in terms of project management. And thank you for your attention.